Stella suffered horrendous sexual and physical abuse at the hands of several men she was romantically involved with. At 24, she was almost raped by a wealthy politician. He beat Stella so badly her nose was broken and a bone popped out of her face. She candidly shared her stories of survival in her 2011 memoir, Tell It, Sister, Tell It. She wanted to tell her tales of sexual abuse and domestic violence to help others get strength from her survival. Because I think anything we go through, we should use that to help others. Let that be a testimony to your survival so that someone else can say, hey, if she can go through that and still come out okay, then surely I can as well. So I thought it was my job and a mission of purpose to say, you know, I need to tell this so other women or other young girls can say, you know, this is not going to stop me. Uh, this is not going to define me. It will refine me. And so that's how I've tried to look at it and go about everything I do. Use yourself as an example for other people to say, hey, maybe I can come through this as well. My sister was thriving and succeeding. She had her own issues to deal with. And Lord knows, I'm sure there's plenty that she could talk about, but that's her business. That's not mine to talk about. My journey was my own. I think as I got older and as I slowed my work down some, I was able to grieve about some of the things that have happened to me. And in the grieving process was also the healing process. And you can either uh, become bitter or you can become better. And I hope that I've become better.